Hey guys, I am just here to read this passage out of your packet called The Lighthouse of Alexandria, The Seven Wonders of the Ancient World. Um, there are seven wonders of the ancient world, and now there are new seven wonders of the world. Some of the wonders of the ancient world are this lighthouse in Alexandria, and then there's also um, the Pyramids of Giza, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Um, there's more. There's seven of them. I can't remember all of them, but those are the ones I can remember. Uh, the New Wonders has like uh, Machu Picchu and the Roman Colosseum. Um, oh, I don't know. I think there's one in Rio de Janeiro too. There's like a really big statue there. Anyway, on to the passage. Sailors off the coast of Egypt often ran into a troubling problem. They couldn't see where they were going. Without the benefit of electricity or modern navigational tools like GPS or Google, these sailors couldn't always find the right harbor or even the right coastline. Thieves would take advantage of this situation, laying traps for confused sailors who crashed along hidden shores. In the third century BC, Ptolemy, <laughs> I should have looked that up first. I'm pretty sure it's Ptolemy. I decided to put an end to all this trouble. He ordered a gigantic lighthouse Oh, I bet that's Ptolemy the first. I'm just gonna start over with that paragraph. I'm right here. I can't highlight, but it's right here. In the third century BC, Ptolemy, I, Ptolemy the first decided to put an end to all this trouble. He ordered a gigantic lighthouse to be built on an island of Pharos, right off the coast of Alexandria, Egypt. Standing at nearly 500 feet, the lighthouse of Alexandria was almost impossible to miss. Sailors who spotted the bright light only had to follow it straight to the safe and welcoming arms of the city of Alexandria. Three earthquakes, striking less than 50 years apart, turned the noble lighthouse of Alexandria into a pile of rubble. Today on Pharos, all that is left are bits and pieces of the lighthouse's foundation. That's sad. So they put up this lighthouse because they had a hard time navigating the seas by Alexandria, Egypt. But then it also was destroyed by an earthquake. So if you went to see it today, this island of Pharos, all you would see is just a pile of rubble. I think it would still be cool. I bet there's some cool paintings of it too. So now the next part you have to do is you have to do these fill in the blank. Uh, remember, fill in the blank is best to just read it over, read over your options, and then go back and double check in the passage. So for this first one, it says the lighthouse was built on the island of, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back up here and I'm gonna skim until I find like the island of or built. So I'm skimming sailors off the coast of Egypt. They couldn't see where they were going, no electricity. Uh, thieves would take advantage. Uh, Ptolemy decided to put an end to his trouble. Um, oh, he ordered a gigantic lighthouse to be built on the island of Pharos. So if I were to come down here on this first line, I would write Pharos. And then I would do this kind of that same process with the next four. And even if I knew that I, if I thought I knew the answer, I might still just go back and double check in my passage just to make sure. And then down here you have some longer questions. Lighthouses have been used as guiding beacons or lights for centuries. What are some ways to guide lost sailors? What are some other ways? Ooh, so that one you have to really like think about on your own. What are some ways that you would guide them in? Oh, I can't wait to read these. You guys are gonna have great ideas. What reasons did Ptolemy the first have to build the lighthouse? Nice, that's one that you have to go back and look in the text for to make sure that you can see to find the answer. You should go back and look to find the answer, that's what I'm trying to say. Why do you think the Lighthouse of Alexandria has not been rebuilt? Do you think lighthouses are still necessary? Ooh, an opinion. <laughs> I can't wait. Okay, and did you know the lighthouse operated by redirecting light using a concave mirror located on the third tier? During the daytime, the sun was the light source. At night, it was a lit fire underneath the mirror. I think concave just means that it, it arcs, so that way it kind of reflects the light back out. Somebody should let me know if I'm wrong. Okay guys, good luck. Goodbye.